Thank you, brothers. We think about these things that have that the Father and the Son have accomplished for their name's sake, for their glory, and for their honor. As our brother was speaking, it drew my mind to our Master's valedictory prayer in John 17, and where he delineated the things that he had done. He's come to the end here. He speaks to the Father. I have glorified you on earth. I have finished the work you have given me to do. And now, O oh Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. I have manifested your name to the men whom you have given me out of the world. They were yours, you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. And now they know that all things which you have given me are from you. Amen. As you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. For their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also may be sanctified by the truth. I do not pray for these alone, but also for those who will believe in me through their word. Brethren, that's us. Yeah. <laughs> this word that's been declared to us, and now we've read a, we focused on a short portion of what the Apostle Paul is writing to these believers in Rome for the uh, exposition and the expounding of their understanding declaring a specifics of these things that God has worked in His Son mm -hmm. to give Him glory, to establish Him as a man mm -hmm. with all authority and all power. All things have been granted to the Son. All things granted to the Son. Mm -hmm. No one knows who He is but the Father. No one knows who the Father is but the Son. And those to whom he wills to reveal him. Amen. Well, he has w willed to reveal him to those who believe. Mm -hmm. Those whom the Father has chosen and drawn to him, the Father draws us to him, puts us in him, and then he makes the Father known to us so that we then can enter into and have this joy and peace that prepares us for his presence, that makes us strong, that establishes our feet in a solid place and then enables us to walk forward and to make progress, always making progress. This is something I highlighted to the young people this morning about the straight, narrow way. <laughs> there are those who think that faith in God is just a, stag a stagnant thing or a static thing that you just put there. <laughs> Not so. Yeah. Not so. We are moving. We are moving forward toward His objective, to the target to the aim that he has made. Now, he's always known what it is. It's being revealed to us now. More and more, it's getting brighter and brighter for us. We're seeing it more clearly than we've seen it before. And, of course, there's more for us to see. And the Son is the one who's doing this work. He's the instrument of the Father to do the Father's will and to bring us to himself. I have declared to them your name and will declare it, that the love which you loved, with which you loved me, may be in them and I in them. So, this is what heaven has targeted. This is what heaven has worked, and this is what's working in us now. God working in us both to will and to do his good pleasure. He's accomplishing that in us. Amen as we have yielded ourselves to Him and as we continue to yield ourselves to Him. Because He's not just brought us to one place, one plateau, and left us there now. We continue to increase. This is His will and purpose, that we continue to increase, that He receives then through us, from us, in us, this increase of His glory. This increase of all the good things that He is. <laughs> and it's increased and multiplied in us. Countless times then in His people throughout the generations in the past and perhaps generations to come. We don't know, perhaps this is the last generation. We would be glad if it is. If He would take us to Himself now, we would be glad for that. This is what He's prepared us for then. This is the work that He has done in the Son. 
pardon me, making us ready, making us strong, making us able to take hold of these things. He has taken hold of us for something, for something specific, and we're seeing more and more of what it is. Amen. We want to be strong in that, yes. capable, able then to handle the things, whatever, whatever it may be. There are some, Brother Ricky mentioned about people who suddenly come into great riches. <laughs> Well, in the incidents here in town in the last few weeks, there are some folks that have come into uh, someone that works with my brothers, said the other day, I've got more money I've ever had in my life. I never imagined. you got to wonder if he's going to be able to handle it, though. Well, we've got riches. Or I should say, we've got the beginning of riches. <laughs> There's m much more to come, and we've got to be able to handle it. We know there are people that can't hand, handle fifty dollars. Our little ones, we know that you know, you know some of these four and five years old. If you gave them a five dollar bill, they wouldn't know what to do with it. They wouldn't understand that capacity. And some of us, you know, uh, wouldn't under, wouldn't wouldn't understand or have the capacity to handle a good deal more. What would we do with it? Well, many people's lives are ruined by great riches in in the world even just in the world. And there's no comparison of those riches with the riches we have. Yes. No comparison whatsoever of the power that was at the fingertips of the Master, which He used with great discretion and spiritual wisdom and insight and understanding. And so now He's been exalted above all angels principalities and powers seated on his father's throne. Mm -hmm. And he intends to give us a place to sit there. Yeah. We, by faith we're seated there now and yet we don't have the fullness of it. We've only tasted of it. But we've got to be ready. We've got to be ready. So brethren, I exhort you to yield yourselves Continue to yield yourselves. You're doing that now. That's why we have this good fellowship and are increasing in these things. We want to continue to yield and yield ourselves more as he brings us along. But we know not what, what form the testing may take to prepare us. So we want to be fully yielded because we know that he's able to make us able, don't we? We know that we're fully confident of that. So let us then continue to turn our hearts and our eyes and our ears to him and not listen to any other but only to the voice of him who has been tested in every point as we are. And he's able then to send us and give us what we need. He's able to guide us by the still waters into green pastures. He's able to establish us and continue to establish us whatever kind of testing, whatever kind of trouble comes. He's able to keep us and make us stand then in His presence. Heaven is calculated to do this and heaven will not be denied. We know the only question is, will we, will we be the one standing there? Well, we intend to be. <laughs> we intend to be among that number standing there. A multitude without number. Thank you, brother, for your words. You have some comments, brother? Brother Rick, brother Jeremy.